Every year, hundreds of thousands of Americans die from a cardiac arrest. And survivors of this, while well, they visited lawmakers on Capitol Hill recently, advocating for legislation to address this very issue. And our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp shares their close call experiences. My senior year of high school, I was a four sport athlete, did a lot of weightlifting. Alexander Bowerson, a 19 year old from Memphis, Michigan, says two years ago the unexpected happened. Never thought anything was wrong until wrestling practice my senior year. I was jogging through the hallways, running, got a tight pain in my chest and hit the floor. The cheer coach, who happened to also be an ER nurse, was nearby. She recognized Bowerson was going through a cardiac arrest. They began CPR and put an AED device on him. He says the AED only had enough charge left in it for that one shock. If he needed a second, most likely wouldn't have been able to shock again. I had a Christian experience through it that made me the reason I'm a Catholic today. And I just knew that everything was going to be fine. The American Heart Association says each year about 435,000 people die from cardiac arrest. Last year, Buffalo Bills football player DeMar Hamlin's cardiac arrest during a game brought national attention to the issue. Hamlin even visited the Capitol advocating to have better access to AEDs and the importance of knowing CPR. Bowardson spent time on the Hill with other people who share similar close call experiences. They're advocating for the Hearts Act and Access to AEDs Act, which would help ensure students and school staff are prepared to respond to a cardiac emergency, as well as provide grants to schools to promote student access to defibrillation in elementary and secondary schools. Bowerson says you don't have to be an ER nurse to recognize when someone is having a cardiac emergency. These bills are going to save lives. In Washington, Rachel Knapp, Erie News Now. Now the Hearts Act passed out of committee. It's waiting to be taken though to the floor. Uh, to access an AED act is still held up in committee. So, you know, this is all developing and it is developing while in the NFL, the Kansas City Chiefs have canceled team activities after a player went into cardiac arrest after a seizure, BJ Thompson. Yeah, and he's still unconscious at this point and you just never know, Eva, with these practice sessions, these OTAs that NFL players are going through now with the heat, some of them are not quite ready for it because it's not yet in the camp. So everybody has to be careful. All right. Word of advice.